What's going on guys? I am Slow Restoration and we are on our way to check out the new Turbo GMC build. Like I said before, it's not my truck. It is our build. Very similar to my truck as you, you'll see when we get there, but uh, it's going to be a brand new build and um, we got a lot of parts in for this truck. We got some other parts coming. It's going to be a cool build. Um, it's it's going to be... Uh, it's definitely going to be strong. It's going to be fast. Let's get there and check this thing out. Alright guys, we're just pulling up here. <laughs> and there it is. <clears throat> just getting ready to pull the cap off of it. But uh, there's the new Turbo GMC build. Same color as my truck. Same 2500 HD. 6 liter 4L80E. 4 wheel drive. This one is 4 door instead of my extended cab um, but other than that it's pretty much the same truck anxious to get started on it um, let's get this cap pulled off here and we'll check it out a little more there's the cap off no more pap cap she's looking looking better already there she is like i said it's pretty much the same truck same color, just four door. All stock right now. It doesn't even have muffler on it, right, Mike? Yep. Yeah, completely 100% stock, but we'll take care of that here real soon. It does have some uh, 315s on it, I think. A 295s, okay. So, it's pretty nice, pretty nice shape. So, we just gotta make it run the way it looks. Here's another truck he's got. Uh, same guy who owns the, the new Turbo GMC build. We just he, he actually did this work himself. Just threw a Texas Speed Cam in here. It's a, just a small Texas Speed Cam. It's the 220R, um, low lift. But definitely be careful. Um, every time you put a cam in, you should check push rod length. And uh, we actually need longer push rods for this motor. So we'll have to get them ordered in. Everything else is pretty much buttoned up. You know, a couple of things on the front of the motor. We were getting ready to fire this thing up and hear it, but we definitely got to get longer push rods. Um, so, always a good idea to check your push rod lengths. And um, you you never really know the the newer cams, especially from Texas Speed. They they grind everything in house now, and it's a little bit more controlled. But to be 100% sure, you got to check your push rod length. 62. 6,200 pounds. Wow, that's heavier than I thought. Wow. That's a lot heavier than I thought. It's got a couple of things in it, a couple of tools and stuff, but not that much. Huh, interesting. Alright, so in comparison, we're going to throw the new Turbo GMC build up on the scale. This is a 2500 HD quad cab four door. Let's see what it weighs. All right, so it actually weighs less than the Yukon about by about just about 50 pounds. So this weighs what? 6150. 6150 for a four-door 2500 HD 2003. So we're off to a good start. It, it surprisingly weighs 150 pounds less than my Turbo GMC. Of course, it does have a lift kit on, so. I don't know if that would, that's what's making the difference or not, but lighter's faster, so we're in the right direction. All right, we're ready for the first fire up on the Texas Speed Cam install. Uh, this is a 2001 2500 HD. It's got the 220R Texas Speed Cam. Um, let's hit the key and see what happens. Fire right up. It's got a loop to it. It's got oil pressure. Oh. It's obviously not tuned. Is that, that exhaust leaks 
what you're talking about. It's quiet. I don't hear any lifter noise. Anything leaking? Obviously, still, still gonna need a tune. Good. We'll walk around back here and see if we can get an exhaust note. It's definitely fuely. You can smell the gas. Alright guys, we're off. There goes the new build. There's the old build. Let's jump in and uh, get rolling. Alright, we're pulling in here. It's our kind of a round back here. PDF is the place. Um, let's get the truck parked and we'll get inside and uh, check it out. All right, guys, we got a square body over here in the parking lot looking good. We got my truck here, of course, the new build here. I think we're going to throw this one on a dyno first and get the, the baseline. It's it's like I said, we'll know power numbers from this, but this will be the first of many comparisons between this truck and this truck. This truck is getting a front mount turbo with the same cam. It is getting heads also, but um, let's get them on a dyno and see what they do. Here's Brad. Brad's going to be doing our work today. It's gone. Good, good. So we're going to pull him in, get him strapped down, yeah. see what he does. Man, she's quiet. <laughs> we can't have that. Brad does have some stuff in the shop. Obviously, he's a performance shop with a dyno, so he's got some toys around. Even a snowmobile. She's on the rollers. Get strapped down, see what this totally stock beast will do. Yeah, let's get our guesses in for the horsepower numbers. Mike, what do you think? I have no gas. No gas? The owner has no gas. It's a 14 bolt rear. 14 bolt, 4L80. Um, completely stock, stock muffler. No tune, nothing. Nothing. Uh, stock air box. It li literally, and it's got bigger tires. So I'm gonna say 225. That's pretty close. Um, Only thing done is bigger tires, which is gonna hurt. <laughs> that'll hurt power. Um, they were advertised at the crank at 300. Um, so brand so new, maybe. I'm gonna say 235. 235, all right. All right, we're all strapped down. We got her hooked up. Brad's getting ready to make the first pull. And his shop is PDF, Performance Design and Fabrication. So let's see what this old girl can do.
little low. It's first pull. I think we hit speed cut. Brad's did this a time of two before, 235.48. And we hit speed cut, right? Yeah. So okay. it'll make a little bit more. Okay. So it wasn't as much of a slug as Mike thought it was. <laughs> oh yes it is. <laughs> Pull two. So it looks like we hit our rev limiter, stock rev limiter, but ah, it did yeah. Definitely was still pulling, so so second pull we did 242 and 281 torque not going into power enrichment for some reason we're not too concerned because everything's getting changed this is just a total baseline but it's doing better than i thought yeah i didn't think 242 i mean it's not that much if it was cooler it would probably yeah. All right, guys, we're going to do one more final pull, see if we can improve that at all. But um, this one's about all, all we really wanted is baseline numbers, and we have them. So let's do the final pull. We'll see what that is, and we'll be ready to go. Get the turbo on the, the rollers. All right, so our last pull there is 240 and 279. So it's fairly consistent and it, like I said it's definitely good enough for what we're doing as far as baselines off with that one now uh, see if we can make a little bit more power with the turbo GMC